Samsung just dropped a bombshell. After years of speculation, for the first time ever, they're revealing a triple folding phone. <laughs> Tech it before you wreck it. What's up, geeks? I'm Kirk, and I'm a little blown away. I knew we were gonna see a triple fold phone from Samsung eventually. I just didn't think we'd see it in 2025, but boom. Here it is, take a look. It folds like almost like a pamphlet, if you will. It's called the Samsung Galaxy Z Trifold. It looks pretty cool. Think about it, the first folding phone from Samsung came out in 2019 that folds like a book. So here we are six years later seeing the triple folding phone. And the way this phone is set up, on the outside you've got a 6.5 inch screen. When it's closed, that screen acts like a normal smartphone. And then when you open it up, you've got a triple folding screen that opens up to a 10 inch tablet screen. Pretty cool. In terms of thickness, this is the current model Galaxy Z Fold, and it comes in at about 4.4 millimeters. Now, this new triple folding phone, when it's open, believe it or not, is gonna come in at 3.9 millimeters thin at its thinnest point. Pretty incredible when you think about how thin that is. When it's closed, they say it's gonna be 12.9 millimeters thick. So the screens are both AMOLED screens. The outside screen is gonna give you 2,600 nits of brightness, but the inside screen, not quite as bright. That's gonna be 16 1600 nits of brightness, both of them running at 120 hertz. Now, how do you cram a battery into all of this? Well, they say they've got a 5600 milliamp battery, but they split the battery into three separate sections so they could spread it out over those three thin screens. 5600 milliamps should be enough to power this phone, hopefully for a day. We'll have to test it out and see. It also has wireless charging somehow crammed into this tiny little frame. It's also gonna give you 45 watt super fast charging 2.0, which will charge that phone up pretty fast when you plug it into the wall. Gotta break down the cameras. I know everyone wants to know what kind of cameras does this thing have? So it's got three main cameras on the main camera bump, as you'd expect. It's got a 200 megapixel wide camera. That's gonna be your low light F1.7. And then it's got a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. And then it has a 10 megapixel telephoto camera. But in addition to those three cameras, it has two more cameras. And here's why, because it actually needs two selfie cameras, one for the outside screen and one for the inside screen when the phone is opened up. Those are both 10 megapixel cameras. So the guts on the inside, you get that Snapdragon 8 Elite Mobile processor, and then you can get a couple of different configurations. They all come with 16 gigs of RAM, but they're gonna sell a 512 gigabyte version and a one terabyte gigabyte version. All of them are gonna come in the color black. At this point, it doesn't seem like they have any other color options. A couple more specs I wanna go through, which I think are important to point out. It's got water resistance, IP48. It's got Corning Gorilla Glass Ceramic 2 on the outside screen. It's impossible to put that on the inside screen because the inside screen doesn't necessarily have a glass cover. On the back, they say it's got ceramic glass fiber reinforced polymer. That's the part that doesn't have a screen. The frame, they say, is a titanium hinge housing with advanced armor aluminum frame. Now, that basically means the frame is strong and light as it would have to be being this thin. The weight of this thing is coming in at 309 grams, and that puts it at roughly twice the weight of something like the iPhone Air. So he as heavy as you would expect it to be, honestly, for a triple folding phone, we have to feel it in our hand to see kind of what that weight actually feels like. You've got all the usual sensors here, as you'd expect, including a fingerprint sensor, but that fingerprint sensor is not inside the screen. It's actually gonna be on the side of the phone. You get two nano SIM cards or multiple eSIMs on this phone as well if you're trying to carry multiple numbers on the phone. So the big question, how much will it cost and when can we buy it? Well, first of all, it's coming out December 12th of 2025 in Korea, China, and other overseas countries. We can't get it here in the US though until the first quarter of 2026. Now, technically that means anywhere from January, February until the end of March. So we'll have to see what that exactly means. And in terms of official price tag, well, they haven't revealed that yet. I'm sure we'll see obviously a price in China, but the American price will likely be revealed in 2026 when we get closer and closer to that launch date. I would have to imagine this thing is going to be north of $2,000, especially with all those specs, all those cameras, the processor, and of course that triple folding screen, but we'll have to wait and see. Do me a huge favor, subscribe to the channel as soon as I get my hands on this new Samsung Galaxy Z Trifold. I'll have a video for you here on the channel, and I also would love to see your comments. What do you guys think? Are you gonna buy this? Is this a throw money at Samsung situation? 
opinion, or are you going to wait to see kind of what this looks like when it actually comes out? Comment below. I can't wait to read your comments, and I respond to every single one here on the channel. Tech it before you wreck it. I'm Kirk.